Hello, look who I have with me. This is just so exciting. Fleur, Fleur de Force. Hello. And Becky Talk, Becky Talk. This is just so exciting to have them in my videos. But today, we are going to do our top pamper <laughs> evening essentials. <laughs> Just Dude, is He's the bottom of barking at anything in the world. Anyways, you want to come in. You want to pamper. Well, I'm going to get involved in the pamper. Hello, Yay. everybody. He only normally joins in at the end. Today, we are doing our pamper essentials. I was going to say flare start, but flare's a bit busy at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My pamper essential <laughs> is a Pomeranian. <laughs> and I just do I am going to start with a good old hand cream. Soap and Glory. I was about to say hand mend, hand food. <laughs> um, probably one of my favourite hand creams. I hear so many people talk about this. Have you never tried it before? No. Oh my god, it's so good. good. Do you know what I love it's about really this hand nice. cream? It smells so good and it doesn't get greasy because I hate sticky it's hand so, cream. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And I love That's on a pamper night in, paint my nails and then put a bit of hand cream on. And it smells nice, it's just not sticky. And what could you want in a hand cream? It's cheap. Yes, the mini ones like two quid. Yeah, the really? mini ones as well. Yeah. yeah, which are super cheap. Nice as gifts as well. So I have these new Hydroloron moisture boosting masks. Have you guys ever tried a sheet mask? No. I have. You look really scary. I, yeah, yeah it, they're kind of creepy looking. They're really creepy. They come in these little, my hands are all slippy now. You come in these, these little um, packets and you put the sheet mask on your face and you look really... Sexy. You look sexy. But if you're traveling and you don't want to bring like bottles around with you to take one of these, it leaves your skin so nice and glowing. I didn't really like Hydroloron. I, I was going to say that I didn't. It, I think I'm allergic to it. So I, I always break out when I use it. Really weird. Yeah, I do. And so they sent me these and I didn't try them because I was But I actually them. really like these and I didn't like the original oh, Hydroloron. That's interesting. Yeah, but these are really, really nice and your skin just looks so glowing. And normally I don't do a face mask before I go out. But I use these. Then I went out that night and everyone was like, your skin looks really nice. And I was like, ooh, oh, thanks. Nice. It's my sheet mask. <laughs> Sticking on the mask side of things, I have been loving the Organic Pharmacies Purifying Seaweed Clay Mask. Um, it is really lovely and it's it's very... I really like masks that kind of claw everything out and like yeah. make your skin glowy and clean and just feel... Is it one of those masks where like they see everything? Like, and then the, yeah. the dots and but stuff. But what, yeah. what is weird, this is like a white one, it's very similar to the Una Brennan like, Super Facialist mm -hmm. one because oh, yeah. that is... You know when they're like clear, they dry kind of clear instead of drying like if you yeah. have a br like a proper clay mask, they dry like browny green and it's not attractive. The only problem with this is the bottle seems really small and it's thirty five pounds, so it's quite expensive. Really? Yeah, well, it's it's quite forty mil. Forty mil. I've used this three times and it's probably about half empty. So I think mm. it is expensive, but I really really Worth like it. it. And my skin, it, like you noticeably afterwards, just looks really really glowing and. I like it a lot. My next product, um, Fleur, you got me onto this. <gasps> I finished the best thing ever. the first what pot, this is the second. It's you have never smelled this. Honey oh. touch. Oh my god, it's the best Get thing. Get ready ever. to smell. Prepare yourself. Okay. You're gonna go, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I know. Yes. I literally <laughs> went through. It's like one nil. I went through. You have to watch Becky's video so to understand this joke. Quickly, and <laughs> then now I'm trying to like. This is almost brand new because I've tried to ration it. I never bought anything from Rituals, and then we went in. I was like, "Oh my god, Rituals <laughs> set is going to bankrupt." Is an it. underrated yeah, brand. People don't talk about good. it as much as they should because I think it's really it's good. Amazing. Yeah, and how nice is this as a gift as well? Like, I'm all for pan products, like giving to people things that yeah. That is who such have a, good body a nice cream? body cream. The thing with this as well, like I've had that and used it from start to finish in like three weeks, and I never do that. Yeah, I'm that's what I so did. So disloyal. One. Yeah. I like change That's around. That's exactly what I did, so I'm rationing this bad boy. <laughs> it's rationing amazing. the huge pot. So I have this Oskia Micro Exfoliating Balm. Have you guys tried this? No, but so I want it. It okay. sounds great. Whenever I exfoliate, I break out quite badly, especially when I use a liquid exfoliator. But this is like a really thick, my hands are so slippery on it. Is it almost like a really thick balm? balm? And it has tiny little, like, as it says, micro exfoliating beads in it. I'm not going to say if it smells nice, I'm going to leave that, um, that judgement to you. It, it smells, smells, smells a bit funny, but once you rub nice it, it kind of turns into like a mm. milky texture. It's not too abrasive at all. It's really, really gentle on the skin and it just kind of buffs away and leaves you with like really nice glowing skin. So if you're someone that has sensitive skin, like me, but still want to exfoliate, this is incredible. I've got one now. I'm going to change what I was going to talk about. I know you don't like this, but I really like it. Everyone talks about it. A ridiculous amount. The Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm. I did a whole blog post, I think I did like eight 
cleansing yeah, balms in one lip like, balm was so long. long. I was like reviewing every single cleansing balm I never used. This one was the best in my opinion. It does. I, my problem is I have really sensitive eyes. So like the Elemis one I really like, like a few of the others, but they just really sting my eyes. Whereas this, I can get it right into my mascara and just like massage it. Yeah, in. massage it all in, break all my makeup down, and it doesn't sting my eyes at all, and it doesn't break me out. Although I know it breaks. Does it, it out. feel like some greasy when you put it on? Like that's the only. No, it doesn't leave like a layer on your skin. No, it went well. It obviously feels a bit greasy when you put it on because it's a balm, it's like an oil. But, it but when like, you wipe it off, it's totally. It's nice. It almost feels like you don't even need a moisturizer because your face is just like. Have you ever smelt it as well? It's no. Nice. Really good. Yeah, the consistency as well. A lot of cleansing balms are quite waxy. Um, a lot of people talk about... Alright, Duke. A lot of people do talk about it. Um, the Clinique one, which I tried recently because everyone was raving about it, and I find that a bit waxy. Whereas it looks this, really waxy that's my fear that it would this... be too, like... No, yeah, that's almost greasy, whereas this is oily. And that, it sounds weird because they're kind of the same thing, but there is a difference. It's like... Yeah, that feels like you're rubbing grease into your face. This just feels really nourishing. And... Um, yeah, it just, it, this almost melts like butter, whereas the other one you really have to like warm in your hands. My next one is my Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. Didn't think I was going to get that out in one. <laughs> um, I first discovered this about a year ago and I bought it with a day cream. And this was probably one of my favourite sets of day and night creams that as soon as I had the pots, they were finished within a couple of months. Um, I've got combination skin. Um, so I break out really easily, but I want like that moisture boost. This literally feels like you're putting a layer of silk on your face. It's so freaking good. I love good. Becky's like description of so silk. So it, it does, like it's so good. That is the, like, the smells softest. It kind of like sun cream or something. I really like the smell. Yeah, I, I like, like it. The day cream smells really similar. The day cream is really light. Yeah. But this is so good. And when you wake up in the morning, your skin feels so soft. I love it. So good much. Stuff. Awesome. I have something for us who like sit at our computers all day like, mm, like this. And I have like, no Your life. shoulders go upwards and you're just like sitting by the end of the day, you're just, your shoulders like attached <laughs> to your ears. This is the This Works in Transit Muscle Therapy. It's kind of like a little rollerball. I think this smells good. Yeah. Mmm, that smells really good. I got flirting good. degree on the side. <laughs> yeah. There was only one well, thing nice. I didn't like. That's nice. That was like herbally. Yeah, and you just um, kind of like roll it around your neck and you can just oh, feel nice. it like de. What's the word I'm looking for? Stress. Is it tingle? Like warming tingle. De tighten. Right? That's not Relax. Right, but you know what I mean. <laughs> de tighten your muscles. You know what I mean by that. It's so, so nice and it's so relaxing. So I just kind of keep this by my desk even. Oh, I'm nice. just like, la, 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 la. I, This works. Make some great products. They really, really do. like them. My next one is another like, Laura Mercier of great Bath and Body. This is like a classic. The Creme Brulee Honey Bath. Have you had this? No. You've never had this in your life. Please like, say you've smelt this. You before. sinner. This is like. I haven't tried this one. I love it, the pistachio stuff. I haven't tried this one. I just want to do that long. <laughs> it almost oh, looks oh, like you can eat it as well. Is that the cre Creme Brulee? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it smells so it does actually it actually is smell incredible. Insane. It's so good, and I work this out. And this is me trying to justify okay. buying this, which yeah, is thirty pounds for a bubble bath. Tell us, Claire. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm preparing myself. <laughs> Lush, Lush's bath bombs. Okay, like okay. three pounds each. Yeah. They last for one bath. The smaller ones, maybe you can break the big ones into two, whatever. And the big ones are five pounds. <laughs> this would last way more than ten baths. So in in fact, it's cheaper than having Lush baths. Beauty addict maths. So and it's this fine. is my maths. <laughs> This is trying to justify <laughs> a ridiculous £30 bath. But it's amazing. Treat yourself or your loved one. Last but not least, um, I do you know what? This might shock you. This is the first peel I have ever done. Ever. This as a peel. I didn't really understand what it was meant to be. Because if someone said a peel to me, I would have even thought peeling something off. <laughs> your whole like skin a, coming yeah. off. So, but this is not like that at all. It's very like jelly-like when you put, oh, I've forgotten to even tell you what it is. <laughs> it's the Ahava Time to Treat Facial Renewal Peel. Um, I get quite sensitive skin sometimes um, and this one, I didn't feel it. Like I felt it slightly tingling, but I didn't feel like it was tightening up at all. It's like a gel that you put over your face. I was really kind of, when I had it on after 10 minutes, I was like, is this actually doing anything? <laughs> Took it off and my face was so soft afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like see any of the impurities coming out. You don't see it like you would see a clay mask, but you notice it afterwards when you take it off. It doesn't smell of anything. It's just so soft. 
as a peel. Yeah. yeah. And the harvest so, moon, isn't it quite a natural brand Yeah, as well? it's really like, I like the idea behind it that it was very natural. Like it says gentle on it. And it literally, if you have sensitive skin, I could hardly feel anything. So if you want a face mask that's really gentle and it's going to leave your skin. Because I love like all the clay ones, mm -hmm. but I think this is a more, if you perhaps wanted to use it two, three times a week. I don't know how many times you're supposed to use a peel, but I was really impressed by it. Okay, my next one is a body scrub, and this is the Sanctuary Spa Four Day Moisture Body Scrub. Four days, that is a claim and a half yes, right there. Okay, this is, I love it's Sanctuary. It's so nice, it smells so... Oh, well, that's nice. Florally. Mm. Yeah? That's good. We're clear about this then? Yeah. Alright, we're okay is it, about is this it like, one. Is it scrubby? It's like, like it really it gentle. Yeah, it's really really gentle, and it doesn't leave too much of a, too much of an oily film on your skin, yeah, which I hate, which I really don't like. But it still leaves you feeling quite like nice and nourished and smooth. It has that kind of balance between oily and nice and nourished and moisturised yeah. right in the middle, which is really nice. Sounds amazing. My last product. This is the last one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My last product is a hair mask, and I don't use hair masks that much. I use the ones that like five minute one that you oh, use yeah, in, the in the shower but this one is one that you put you can put it on dry hair leave it for like half an hour or it says 20 minutes apply to dry hair smoothing evenly from the hair lengths to the ends avoiding the roots leave to penetrate for 20 minutes i put this on when i first wake up leave it like an hour maybe a bit more um and then you actually probably like wash it off it's amazing it's like a cleansing balm kind of texture but you put it on your hair and it smells like it smells. perfume. It smells almost like, um, mm. I think it smells like an Anna Sui perfume That's I used to have when I was younger. It does really smell good. Nice. Do you know what, that's a really good it's, way to do it with your hair because I used yeah. to leave it overnight and it's a bit of a faff sometimes to go to sleep in it so if you do it in the morning, like have your brekka. Yeah, I also didn't actually say what this is, it's the Charles Worthington Salon at Home Secrets Collection Moisture Seal Intense Rescue Melting that Balm. That is a name and a half. That is a name and a half. The Intense Rescue Melting Balm, I would just call it, from Charles Worthington. Oh, it's quite expensive yeah. actually for a uh, like Boots brand, it's I think £17. But really? but they do it. They put it on sale quite a lot for about. Yeah, 11. they always have offers. Yeah, for two blah blah blah. Sale, but Definitely like. worth getting their volume and texture spray as well. I haven't tried that. I'm gonna go and buy it today. <laughs> I'm gonna go and buy it today. Okay, that is the end of our Pamper Evening Essentials video. I really hope you liked it. I'm gonna leave both their channels below as well as the video we did on Becky's channel. So make sure you go and check that out, and I will link it in their beautiful faces. We're just making tons well. of videos today, so there'll be some videos <laughs> so that, everywhere. Yeah, just go check everywhere out. I'll leave where you can find them as well below, and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye. So I made it to Anna's final. Oh, are you vlogging me? I, I might vlogging do like you? a bit of vlog oh. section. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay, so here's Anna vlogging me. Here's Esther. Hi, I'm really close up. Oh, sorry. Here's Lily also oh, vlogging. Hi. But just a car full of vloggers right now. It's just really we'll dark. Head into the what time is it? So we're supposed to be there in five minutes.